Hello, this is Erin with the Joy in Pens and Paper, and it is uh, too late for my watch. It's in wind down, 8.46 p.m. I am tired, I am low energy, and went back and forth of whether or not I had it in me to record this this evening, but I am doing it uh, because I want to. Um, so, I am going to do a walkthrough of the last week in my Hobonichi Cousin, which is the planner that I use for memory keeping and journaling. And I have it in a Hobonichi A5 trifold case that's very well loved. <laughs> um, I may be pulling this out next year and using one of my other covers. Um, just because this one needs some cleaning. I had brought this at one point to a dry cleaner and they were not willing to give it a clean. So, um, yeah, yeah, maybe I can use some fabric cleaner. Um, anyway, getting into my week. Just need to grab something. All right, so Monday. Monday was the longest day. I don't know what it was, but um, it was just such a really long Monday. And um, it, one of the students that I work with was kind of really ramping up. And so I think we were all on edge, uh, but then um, the day went okay. After the day ended, my husband and son, they went to see the first Marvel movie uh, and I got to come home and um, relax for a little bit. I did a Peloton workout class. Um, I laid in bed for a little bit. I have this one food item that is my um, one of my favorite things to eat. It's called an egg loaf and it's just eggs, cream cheese, butter, and cinnamon and you blend it together and bake it and it's like French toast consistency um, but it's all ingredients that are safe for me so I had some egg loaf um, and so that was my Monday. Tuesday that student got um, a little bit sassier. So he, uh, and just to be clear, um, the student is going through some med changes. So his struggles are really outside of his control. And, um, I completely am aware of that, but his challenging behaviors involved throwing of boulders and rocks. And I ended up with some bruising and things like that. Um, but yep, is what it is. And then um, I, I had another student that just made some really, really, really great progress with some behavioral programming that they have. And I got my fountain pen day order on Tuesday. So I received my Banu talisman. I'll be honest, that feels like more than a week ago. I'm having a hard time recalling last week because it was just a week. Um, but I got my fountain pen day pen. Uh, Wednesday, I did a training all day and, um, which was wonderful. Um, and I found out that I get paid some extra money for doing these trainings. So I more appreciated that. Um, and then I called a prior colleague of mine after work on Wednesday because I ended my day with a meeting and um, I'm working on creating a position that hopefully my prior colleague and friend can work in. Um, so that would be wonderful. Thursday, I went and got my nails did uh, because in that episode on Tuesday, one of the boulders that was thrown at me um, I put my hand out and it caught the tip of my nail and it broke off my nail. 
uh, it actually broke it below the um, the nail line, so I had to get a tip on it and grow that. Anyway, first world problems, right? <laughs> um, so I did, I uh, was supposed to have on Wednesday, I was supposed to have a facial and a massage, but because of a meeting that got scheduled, I had to cancel those appointments. And so then I rescheduled the massage for Thursday and the massage was going to start just at the time that my workday would be ending. So I decided to take a quarter sick day. And um, so with that extra time between the end of my day and the appointment, I made the nail appointment and then the massage got canceled. But regardless, I got my nails done and I got to go home a little bit early. We uh, met as a pay it forward board and we determined who our recipient is going to be this year or who our two recipients are going to be this year. Trust me, super awkward conversation. Um, you know, just kind of trying to put it in a comedic lens. Think about having the conversation of whose cancer is more important and um, deserving of this money and, and who is not. Thankfully, there was a natural elimination because one of the criteria is that the recipient cannot have uh, fundraising efforts already in place. And of the seven nominees that we got, four of them already had fundraising in place. One person had over $100,000 of fundraising efforts and awesome, good on them, but that's not the candidate that we're looking for, for pay it forward. Um, so yeah, there was really only one person that um, we ended up really having to say not right now, but we're hoping to be able to uh, surprise them and um, do some football squares around Super Bowl weekend for them. Uh, and then I went over to my neighbors and we watched Golden Bachelor together. Friday, I was so excited. <laughs> the um, One of the students that I mentioned a little bit earlier who was making some really nice progress continued to make that amazing progress and really ended the week on a good note. Um, spoiler, alert, uh, spoiler alert, that student also started the week on a really good note. I always get a little nervous when... Um, there's a gap of some days and whether we're going to be able to pick up where we left off. And we did, and we pushed a little further today. Um, and then I was able to find, I, I am so embarrassed, but I have uh, some labels that I got for my ink sample vials and I couldn't find them for the life of me. And turns out back in the summer, I did a, I did a craft project with them and um, I think it was Thursday evening, a memory kind of resurfaced and I remembered what I had done with those labels and was able to retrace my steps and find them. So um, I filled up some sample vials and then Friday I stopped at the post office and mailed them out. Um, I think at least one of the people should be getting their, should have gotten their samples in the mail today or tomorrow and the other one would be the day after um so that was good and then saturday i uh, i ran 10 miles on the treadmill and um and i use my apple watch which tracks my um moving my arm my like arm movements per minute and it tracks it when I do outdoor runs as well as when I do indoor runs. So I find it to, I think it's a fairly accurate measure um, because it's based on the, the pull and the movement of my arm. So I did 10 miles on the treadmill in an hour and 28 minutes. So go me. And then my husband and I went to this craft uh, wine, beer and spirit place that was having an anniversary event. I couldn't figure out if it was their one year anniversary or their five year anniversary. Turns out it was their nine year anniversary, but um, it's also a place that we get a wine of the month club thing from. So it was really cute. They had some meat and some cheese and a little bit of samples. Um, and so we stopped by there. I finally folded laundry. If you watch my weekly plan with me's, you know, 
that I've had laundry on my to-do list every weekend for months. I have a chair in my room that was just piled high with laundry and I finally got through it all, which was great. Um, and then my family and I went to uh, this new restaurant that opened up for dinner, which was really great. It was very, very delicious. They had great gluten-free options. The server was really friendly. Um, so it was really nice night out. And I had, oh, I had the most amazing gluten-free pita bread. And it was so crunchy on the outside and a little gooey on the inside. It is amazing. And all I want to do is go back and get more of that gluten-free pita. Um, and it had uh, tzatziki tzatziki, I don't know how to say that word, um, as a dipping for it. And then Sunday, my husband and I got to sneak in a little bit of a date. Uh, my son had a birthday party that he was invited to, and it was at a local mall. Uh, so we um, dropped him off at that, and then we went to get some margaritas and some salsa and chips and some street corn. Um, and then I also again, kind of a finely item, went grocery shopping Sunday morning and uh, spent over $300. It was silly, but part of it was uh, the Thanksgiving prep. So um, yeah, it was, it was a lot. Um, and one of the things that while we were, I'm kind of skipping around a little bit, but while we were at the mall, on Sunday, we popped into the Peloton store and the Peloton guide is on sale for $95 and I'm very strongly considering it. Um, yeah, I'm still considering it. They created a cart for me. It's sitting in the cart, but, um, yeah, I, I, I need to talk to my husband about that. We, for a while would, um, get a workout item as a joint Christmas gift uh, and he is not really feeling like he would use the Peloton guide. I think he would. I think he would benefit from it but I, I might have to chat with him a bit about that first. All right so getting into my weekly um, I really love the colors that I used here. So I had the Pelican M400 which is inked up with Birmingham Pen Company Sandstone and I use this for the majority of it, but then I used uh, the Zodiac pen, um, pen Company. It's the Virgo model with red abalone, and this is inked up with Robert Oster Summer Storm, and I am just obsessed with this blue and this brown combination. So I marked off my work hours in the blue and then did the labels down here in the blue and I just think it looks gorgeous. So I'm really pleased with how this turned out. So let's let's think about, I did map out some stickers um, and I'm trying to get a little bit more organized as I go <laughs> um, so that this actually looks like I know what I'm doing. But um, so Monday, I just felt like I was a little bit all over the place. So I grabbed this emoji that has an umbrella with a bunch of things falling down on it. Um, Tuesday, I ended my day injured. One of the rocks hit my leg, the back of my leg right below where my knee bend is. So in the back of my calf. And, um, once the crisis was over and I think my adrenaline came down it actually hurt to walk and um I was I was worried so I ended up doing like an injury report and everything but I'm fine it's still all yellow and there was a little bit of a tiny bit of abrasion where the rock hit but it's okay um Wednesday, because I did a training and I don't really have any uh, stickers that match that training, um, I decided to use this hump day sticker. It's kind of my backup Wednesday sticker if nothing else feels right. Uh, and then Thursday, I wanted to do this little paper clip um, with the emoji onesie head for the pay it forward board meeting. 
on Friday, I wanted to mark going to the post office. Um, I don't know why I find it to be so challenging going to the post office, but it is. Um, and then Friday, I get my coffee on Friday mornings. My son joined me and he got his white hot chocolate. I'm going to mark the treadmill right here. And I'm going to also mark the grocery store. Oh, and laundry. Sunday, I just was in kind of a yuck mood. So I'll put that there. Um, and then I will add this right here because I did some YouTube filming of um, I filmed the 20, 20 and 2021 flip throughs of my planner and I've got those scheduled for upload. Um, you probably can tell I'm not a big editor. Mama does not have time for that. Um, so what, what I film is what you get. Um, so yeah, I just needed to, it took a long time for them to, upload and and be ready to go those next steps of the process um, and then I'm just gonna mark a couple of these for our restaurant out and our little impromptu date oh let me share a little funny story so um, I have mentioned before that my husband got a Tesla and, um, so on Sunday, my, my car was on, was on empty. And, uh, so bef when we dropped my son off at the mall, we then went to a gas station. He offered to pump the gas. I will take that. Um, and so as I pulled out of the gas station, I ended up having to cross a couple of lanes of traffic to get into the direction to go to the restaurant that we're going to go to for margaritas. And um, I know I heard some clanging. <laughs> you can probably guess where this story is going, but I start panicking because since my accident, any noise that my car makes, I, I think worst case scenario. So I start to panic. And I park and I look in my side mirror and I see that the door to my gas tank is open and the cap is dangling. Um, so I laughed at him quite a bit about that and uh, couldn't believe <laughs> that he had forgotten to um, screw on the cap or close the door and, you know, so I was teasing him about how, you know, he's had his Tesla for six months and he had a car with a gas fill up for 20 plus years. So, um, yeah, it's a, it's a good thing. He's a good sport when I tease him. All right. So this week I would like to use the Esterbrook SD. Oopsie. Ferris Wheel Press collab. It's the Nebulous Plume. And this is inked up with Diamine Triple Chocolate. And then I'm liking the accent color. Nope bought this out for a reason. So I just, um, I took a leap and put a shimmer ink in this because it has that flex nib and I'm feeling, feeling confident. Um, so I have a ink sample. Oh, why I put it away. Sorry. I thought it was, I thought it was right here, but I, I did actually put it away. Um, so one of my viewers sent me a sample of Warangal, I think it's pronounced shock. 
um, which I thought just matched this really, really nicely. And it's a very light ink, so I thought this would be the right pen to try it in. So we have the Memento Zero Grande 2.0, and this has a elastic fine nib. And it's inked up with Wrangle Shock. And let me add in So these are the things that I track every single day and I have been tracking these things for a couple years. All right, yeah, so this dries really nicely. I, again, I just think it's a really nice match for this pen. And then I'm gonna go ahead and um, memory keep for today. So I have, have about a 7.45 start time to my work day, and I work until 2.45, sometimes later. But that's what I'm contracted for. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hours. And I did a little bit of a change in my morning routine this morning. Um, I'm not going through the season of not wanting to get right up and work out. I kind of want to ease into my day a little bit more. So, um, instead of doing a workout right away, I'm doing a shower right away and then budget and plan. Um, and then I started off my day with, um, had a conversation with a colleague did some scheduling for the week did some prepping for uh, some assessments that I have I went and supported a shaping session at the upper elementary and then I did an FBA observation. Um, I did a, oh, I shouldn't have put the arrow down that far, but that's okay. Um, I did a consult and then Session two, um, just working a little bit backwards here so I can recall. So this was session three. I had a team meeting that took me to the end of my day.
this was a fourth grade observation and consult and then I did a SSA meeting Um, my son had some, so one of, one of my colleagues is going to get their master's in special education and needed to do some academic testing on a, on a student. So of course my son, perfect candidate. So she did testing on him and met with my husband and I this evening to review the initial testing results as well as to get some background, um, history on him and he does have which we've known about for years a disparity between his math testing and his reading comprehension reading fluency writing etc so in he's a sixth grader and in the area of math he's testing at an 8.7 so just over halfway through eighth grade year um, for math and then for uh, reading fluency, comprehension, vocabulary, sentence structure, etc. He's at a 11, uh, sorry, 12.9, so end of senior year. Um, and then for writing, he tested at a ninth grade level, and the reason that he had points deducted is because he forgot his punctuation, <laughs> which in my mind, as a special educator, makes sense. Students are very reliant on Chromebooks or devices right now that give them visual cues when their grammar is off. Um, so they're not having to do as much pen and uh, sorry, pencil and paper writing. And when they do, they don't have that immediate feedback. So um, I could see, I could 100% see him being over reliant on commas or having run on sentences. Um, and with that the testing environment, he's also not going back and editing and revising his work. Um, so she's going to account for that in her write-up, but he's a smart cookie, y'all. I'm very proud. Very proud. Um, all right. So I made some cookie batter. Um, I, one of my guilty pleasures is to have fresh baked cookies. So I, found an amazing gluten-free chocolate chip cookie mix that I just have to add in butter, eggs, and vanilla. And um, so I make it in bulk and then scoop it and freeze it. And then I've got the cookie dough balls all set to go whenever I want. And, um, and I do it that way because I haven't found any commercially available frozen cookie dough balls uh, that don't taste like sugar alcohol um so this mix works and yeah so i made a double batch of cookies and scooped those up and got them into the freezer and then i did some dinner prep and we had dinner There we go. And so that wraps up my day today. Let me see if I can align the rest. There we go. Um, so I like the combination of this kind of a peachy, tanny pink color and the chocolate brown. And this has a little shimmer to it. So um, I will keep using that. And to my viewer friend, thank you for giving me a sample of Warangle Shock so that I can use it this week. And it matches my pen so beautifully. All right. Um, so without further ado, I'm going to close this up. And I will see you next week for a weekly recap. Bye.